You know, I mentioned my mom is very ill with cancer and I know we have to take care of business and, um, being sober gives me the ability to think with a clear mind, do what needs to be done. Somehow I'm in charge and I kind of like look up, I'm not religious either. Like, whoa, I'm the fuck up. How am I in charge of this? Like, Mm -hmm. ah, I can't believe this. Um, but it's just given me things don't stress me out. Like most Mm -hmm. normies. Um, yeah. I think like you think, you know, you realize like the, what's important in life. That's it. Yeah. Don't sweat the small stuff. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Don't sweat the small stuff. I mean, whenever I talk to my sponsor and I complain about my day and she's like, these are quality problems to have. Yeah. Like remember when your biggest problem was like, you couldn't get up in the morning without having a drink. Yep. And I'd be like, yeah, that's so true. I couldn't take a shower because my skin hurt so badly from withdrawal from Oxycontin and it hurt. And I remember calling my sponsor and saying, I can't take a shower. It hurts too much. And she said, you know, it's going to be okay. And so to be able to be where we all are today is, um, it's a miracle. Yeah. We do this thing every time we have a meal called high low, where you, um, say like the best parts of your day and the worst parts of your day. And the best days are when the bad parts are like, I had a headache. (laughs) You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Just to put everything in perspective. We always do that when we're together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gratitude lists. I do that a lot. Yep. Yeah. That was definitely like a big thing that helped me get sober the second time around because I was so angry, you know, and I think it was so the, the relapse was hard for me because I knew what life was like on the, in a way it was harder to get sober the second time because like I knew what life was like on the other side. I knew it was so much better. I Mm -hmm. knew how much happier I was. I had built a business and all of these things. Um, Before I got sober the first time, I didn't, you know, I thought a life of sobriety would be so boring and I would, how could I ever like travel to Italy? I couldn't like drink the wine. Like, you know, how could I ever have a birthday? How could I get married without champagne? all of these things. And the second time, like I knew how much better sobriety was, but I like couldn't get there. I kept slipping. I'd get like a few months and then I'd, I'd relapse. And I was just like, why can't you get there? You know, it's better there. And it was really hard. And the gratitude list really helped me. And I really do believe like, cause I also love, you know, kind of looking at the science of the brain when you kind of create these new pathways in your brain, by instead of looking at the negatives in life, looking at the positives in life, you can actually start to, because there's so much neuroplasticity, you can start to change the way that you think literally, but you have to like force yourself to do these exercises. And then yes. now I find that when I'm, when I come to, you know, something that upsets me, like just yesterday, I, I found out some like just very stressful work stuff. And instead of going immediately to the negative, I went to, well, at least, I have this and I have this and yes. I have this. And that was something that I never had before. So I feel I feel grateful that alcoholism forced me to learn these coping tools for life. Yes. I feel like it was it, a gift. Yes. I wish everybody had to have them. Yeah. And as much as we're not supposed to raise our children as little sponsees, my kids have had the benefit and I will hear them use some of our, you know, cliches or nuances and Uh, We were talking with my younger child right before we came here and I had said something and she was like, but it's not going to matter in a day or a week, month or a year. And there's nothing I can do about it because I taught them about powerlessness Mm -hmm. and can you affect this, you know, change in this. And if you can't, got to accept it. And to hear that back from them is like, okay, kudos mom. Especially her because she's 16. Yeah. 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 She's really got a, a grasp on a lot of the coping mechanisms as it, as have you. And so it's been kind of cool to watch. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I see that like you get like emotional when your mom tells your story, like, are you proud of her? I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm so proud of her. And I don't remember anything negative about her growing up. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. she ta- you've told me that you've always been worried that I would only focus on those things from before you got sober. And I don't even know what she's talking about. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because oh, and it's those things. I know you know what I mean. Those things that you've done and that you're like, oh, <laughs> like, yeah. ah, I can't believe I did that. Yeah. And that she doesn't remember them. And it's not that she's blocked them out. They just weren't as impactful to her mm-hmm. 
as they felt to me in hindsight. So, yeah. Yeah, crazy. 